Ange Malafi. Sean Walsh held up to that, didn't quite get it. Sean Lowry, his brother Brandon. This is Richie Connor. Tori Dunn is inside him. And here now, going through is Jenny Mooney. Mooney in front of the goal, takes his shot.
kick out for Longley. And Longleston retrieving it. But uh, just drops it in to Martin. There he is, the man who saved that penalty. He certainly did an old skiing effort, or a Jared Cunningham. He saved the penalty in the hurling final as well. Straight down the middle. And Pat Fitzgerald, who hasn't been catching the ball at all in the second half. Seamus Darby getting into it there. Lean Collins. Back now is Pat Spillane. Out now to John Egan. John Egan cutting his way through his shot. And it's over the bar. Score, 15 points for Kerry, 12 points for Offley, and 25 minutes gone. About 10 minutes left in the game. That's Mick Fitzgerald. Now Matt Connor trying to get the ball to go in behind and let an Offley man get to it. But this is Tom Doyle out now to this wing. Cordy O'Shea, Sean Lowry. Up to the wing now to Liam Currums, Liam of the speed. In now to Richie Connor, the captain. Richie trying to work his way through himself. Pat Fitzgerald is there now. But he hasn't got the ball anymore, and the referee awards a free to Kerry from in front of their own goal, and it is about 30 metres out. Tim Canale placing it with the kick. And it's been placed again now by Charlie. 15 to 12 in favour of Kerry. But they're not out of the woods yet. And taking advantage of the loose ball there. Kerry swinging the attack again. As John Egan to own Liston, back out now to Sean Walsh. Sean's shot is over the bar and another point. And that could be the insurance point. They are now four points ahead. Sean Walsh, who wasn't so much in the game in the very early stages, sending that one over, and it is now Kerry leading by 16 points to 12. And here it is again. Sean grabbing it, kicking it, not even pausing to wonder where he's going to kick it. He knows. And the referee penalises Tony O'Shea for a push in the back there. Richie Connor. Ball deflected in towards the goal mouth, but only in the general direction thereof. Cordy Lynch to Ger O'Keefe. Ger out to this side of the field. The hop. Nicely judged by Mikey Sheehy. Sean Lowry to Liam Currums. Into Richie Connor. Richie out to Liam Currums. Currums up to the left corner, but nobody up there. That is, if you're looking for an awfully man. But a chap called John O'Keefe is there. Out now to Liam Currums. Currums to Mick Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald to Richie Connor. Now they're trying the other wing. Richie Connor out there is John Dynan. Back in the midst of it all is Pat Spillane. And the referee has awarded, as Seamus Darby comes into the game, the referee has awarded a free, a free to the uh, Offaly men. And Seamus Darby has come on. Uh, well, Stephen Darby, I should say. No, Seamus, <laughs> the two Darbys, they're both on. Uh, Seamus Darby has come on now, and he is uh, taking a position. We'll see who's going off in a moment as Matt Connor comes up. John Dynan has gone off, and Matt Connor takes a shot that goes over the bar. And now the score is 16 points for Kerry, 13 points for Offley, three points between them, and... What does it say? About uh, six minutes or so left in the game. Can Offley come back and equalise or go ahead? Can Kerry stay in front and make history with this victory five in a row?
and certainly anybody who looked upon this game as a cakewalk for Kerry, well, what a drop they've got. Tomas Connor tipping it down, but it is Tony O'Shea being chased here by Paulie Dunn. Up to the wing to Owen Liston. Liston with the ball. A ground one into Joe. Oh, lovely kick back now to Paddy. Paddy over the bar. And there's the insurance once again as Paddy O'Shea, right half back, scores his second point of the game, working his way up the field with the ball, giving it to some of his colleagues and being there to take it back again. Here's Owen Liston sending it in. Back up it comes there to Paddy to and that's it. 17 points to 13. Richie Connor. Out here to the wing where Jerry Carroll has it. They're trying to maneuver, organize, engineer, free two awfully in front of the goal. They were trying to engineer a goal there and put them within hail. Uh, my stopwatch says about five minutes less than five minutes left in the second half in fact left in the all-ireland final matt connor will he be satisfied with the point he is he taps it over the bar and now it's kerry 17 Otley 14 and about four minutes left in the game and matt connor the scorer of six of those Otley points and again I say, I wonder, is there a goal still in the game somewhere? Time ticking away. Charlie Nelligan with the kick out. Fielded there by Corey Dunn. To Tomas Connor. Oh, an awkward one, but he did manage to hold on. Dangerous high ball. All very nicely tapped down there by John O'Keefe. This is Tommy Doyle over there. This is Paddy O'Shea. This is John O. This is Jack O'Shea. Out now. Into the center. Sean Lowry. Johnny Mooney. Still Johnny Mooney. Pat Fitzgerald. And Tim Kennelly for Kerry. Out to the far side of the field, 17 to 14 in favour of Kerry. The ball gone out over the line. Line ball for Offley. About three minutes left in the game. Three minutes, three points. Richie Connor. Liam Currums. Sean Lowry. And the referee awards a free into Offaly, dead straight in front of the goal. And it is on the 20 metre line, and surely Matt Connor will try, and I underline the word try, for a goal. Yes, he is, he's standing back. It looks to be, no, he's not. He's tapping it over the bar for a point. It looked as if he was clearing everything to run up and belt it over the bar. Two points between them, Kerry 17, Offaly 15, Three minutes left in the game, two points between them. Is there still a goal left in the game? Charlie Nelligan. Paddy Lynch gets his hand to it, but it goes off his hand over the line. Line ball for Offley. Offley, the whole Offley team up the field now, every one of them. Martin Furlong is 20 yards out from his own goal. They're all up trying to do something. 17 to 15, Kerry back there trying to hold on. High ball in towards the goal mouth, out of the general direction they're out. Mikey Sheehy back to help. Mikey Sheehy now starting a movement that leads, leads them into the attack. But Sean Lowry out to the wing. And brought that there, brought down out there, Stephen Darby, and there is a free for the Offaly men with two minutes left in the game. Kerry leading by two points. And it looks as if they were winning the way the Offaly men are just diddling and dawdling there. And here they come. This is Liam Connor, the fullback. A high lobbing, dropping ball in towards the goal.
out to hand over there on the far side, John Guinan. A little bit in. Ball picked up over on the far side. A high shot from way out the field. And it's gone, oh, it's gone wide. It's gone wide. And the referee will be blowing the final whistle any second now. Quite a number of followers encroaching on the field. Off they look as if they must now have won a most sensational All-Ireland. The kick out comes now into the 50-yard line. And the referee goes on the play and hits up Terry back again. But now it's broken up here. And it is Jerry Carroll with the ball. His kick is blocked down. Could now Terry come back? There's a great cover's back. And now the ball up the side of the field. Tom Spillard has it now. He's going to get towards the goal mouth. He's got right through. And he passes the ball in. Well, Martin Furlan gets it. Martin has been tackled. Uh, but the ball has gone loose. Tom Spillard is in there. Martin Furlong has it. A pass is intercepted by Reggie Sheehy. There's the kick. It's high. And it dropped into the hands of the waiting Sean Lowry. 